y'all. So on my Instagram, I've been posting a picture of uh, my selfies with my hair kind of wavy and messy. And you guys really wanna see how to do that look. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I've also gotten tons of questions on how to find a stylist in your guys' area. Really, really quick, I want to mention Style Seat. Style Seat is basically the ease of discovering a pro, a pro stylist in your area. Now I do have a girl that in my local area that styles my hair, but if she's booked, or if she's out of town or if she can't get to me and I need a stylist like this and I need someone that knows what they're doing and that has you know good reviews and um, is reputable basically, I just go to Style Seat. Super, super easy. You get to see reviews, you get to pay, you can book all on this app. There's also the convenience of text and email reminders. And the best thing of all is the quality of the services that you're looking for. So all you're gonna do is go to styleseat.com and then you're going to enter the service that you're looking for, maybe haircut, barber, weaves, nails, makeup, into your city, state, and the date that you want your appointment for. And then you're going to see a selection of stylists in your area, and you can also see the recommendations. So I'm gonna go with Chelsea here, and just to show you, you can see all of the services that each artist has to offer. And right next to that, you're going to see the price so whatever service it is that you want you're just gonna go to book me and then it's going to bring up their schedule and you can just book right then and there my mom uses this service and I've turned a lot of friends onto this service as well definitely something to check out guys I've used style seat for my hair I've used it for my nails pedicures facials I've used it pretty much for every beauty service that there is and um, I live in a small town and they have styles there's style seat artists registered on style seat so I'm gonna leave the link and info to style seat down below now, growing out my hair I have had to cut this back section because it grows faster than the rest of the hair in my head so I have to keep this um, short so it doesn't look like a mullet as the rest of it grows out uh, my hair is actually almost all one length it's all one length in the back and then i have just one layer that i'm waiting to grow in with the length of my hair so now on to the tutorial now this hair right here that you see ooh, it's wavy and it's from yesterday now the nice thing about this style is that i can wear it for three days like it'll last me three days before i have to wash it or do anything i don't like to wash my hair every day anyway so this is like my, my has been my go-to style and the great thing about it is that even if your hair is shorter than this, you can still do it because of the weight, the waiver. I do suggest using this one. I bought, ooh, that's hot. I bought this at Ulta. This one is great for short hair. As you can see, it's smaller. I also have a large waver, but the barrels are just so huge and it gives more like bigger waves. But the good thing about this is that you can adjust it. So if you see here you turn this knob and this little middle part's going to go down and it's going to give you smaller waves if you turn it up how i have it and how i like it it's going to give you a deeper wave but the the device itself is small and it's perfect for shorter short length hair the great thing about this style is that it lasts this gets up to 400 and even if it went higher i would still use the 400 setting because you don't it's not necessary to use anything over 400 and i'm just going to kind of go over and show you what i do just because I'm, i don't want to wash it and all that just because it's not necessary yet and day one you're going to have a lot of waves day two it's going to look like this kind of just like messy and wavy and day three you're still going to have the waves it just may look a little bit oily so I can't go more than three days without washing my hair so anyways what I do is I let my hair dry about 60% then I put one pump of this um, this stuff gives amazing volume amazing texture if you have thin hair this is an absolute must-have I bought this at Target um, and it's gonna last you a long time because you just need one pump regardless if you have thick hair or thin hair um, just one pump that's all you need if you do too much it, if you do more than one pump um, it's just gonna be too much and your hair is gonna feel icky. So just one pump, get it in your fingertips and massage your scalp and your roots with the product. Um, just kind of section your hair off and get it in the roots. Focusing on the crown area. You're gonna do the bottom part of your hair and you're gonna 
section it off. Grab your piece. You're gonna take your waver and you're gonna go as close as you can to the root and clamp down like so. And I leave it in about five seconds. And then you're gonna go right next to that and where it curves in, you're gonna pick up right from that spot, clamp down again. And you're left, <laughs> that looks cute. You're left with a wave. When you do the next piece, don't wave it holding the wand the same way. You wanna rotate holding it this way. Or you wanna rotate holding it this way, like I just did. And then the next piece, I'm gonna turn this around and wave it this way. And I'm gonna rotate turning every other section that way. The reason I do this is because you don't want your waves all going one direction. You want them all, you want them all um, going different ways. You don't want them all to be uniform. If you want to turn this so it goes all the way down, um for your shorter pieces and then do it that way i used the waiver this way on this piece so this upper piece i'm going to turn it and use it that way just like a nice little chunk so then this piece again like i said instead of doing this way i'm going to turn it and do it this way And this thing gets super, super hot. Um, I never have problems with it holding wave. I've even used it on my daughter, which her hair does not curl for crap. Like it's really hard to get her hair to curl or to hold a curl. And this thing will, it, it waves it and actually stays. So, um, and I think I paid 25 bucks for it. So it's definitely affordable. So yeah, that's all I do. Again, grab another section clamp it, grab another section, clamp it all the way around. If you have longer hair, you're just gonna go down the shaft of the hair. So you wanna use the waver all over. Do not run your fingers through it or do anything to it until you're completely done. Um, and then of course the last couple pieces that you did, let them uh, cool off completely to match like the rest of your hair. Um, make sure your whole entire head is cool. Then you wanna flip your head over and shake the shit out of it. Shake it, run your fingers through it like this, oops, like this and just your fingers through, pull. Don't be afraid to like do this because these waves y'all are not going anywhere. With the help of this, it's gonna make your hair like super huge. It's gonna give it like a nice texture. I wouldn't put hairspray. And the only reason why I say not to put hairspray is because it can weigh your hair down and you're gonna lose volume. I like to section, just to show you real quick, I like to section my hair like, like to the side. So I'll clamp it this way, let it fall. Get this section, clamp it this way, let it fall this way. I'll show you real quick when you turn it down what the wave looks like. have more waves so one two three as opposed to one two yeah only two it's gonna give you two waves and then when you make it smaller the barrel smaller smaller you're gonna have four waves so yeah that is how I achieve that hair so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon peace